my powerhouse gym. I was my pal, Frank McGrath, and uh, we just finished up a uh, chest workout. You know, we started off the workout with some cable crossovers. Um, never done that before. <laughs> okay. What? Never no, did that? No. Get out of here. No, never. Is that just a warm up? Is that a warm up? We never warm up. No, well, not only warm up, just going light. Oh, so that, that was, was good though. So this was more than your typical warm up. Yeah. More exertion. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough to just warm up because I feel like you know once they get going, you want to get a little bit more blood in there because I don't know, I don't know about you, but as I've gotten older. You know how it was when you were younger, you just walk in, yeah, yeah. throw four plates on the bench, <laughs> okay, I'm ready, let's go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it don't happen anymore. Yeah. No, um, it's good, I felt good, but one like that, yeah. So, even though maybe the wheat we were able to use on the second movement, you know, where we then went on to a pressing movement, was slightly decreased, I think it was a bit safer, and uh, you maybe get a little bit more out of the movement. I like to do a lot more incline anyway, my first, because I want more, I, I think I have a good lower chest, but I'm really trying to right. work on my upper chest, so right. you know, that's mainly what I do. I don't know, I, you know, I used to get more injuries doing flat bench things. A lot of guys say that. Incline, I get nothing, I never had a problem, ever. Yeah, though, I, I, I can typically agree that inclines seem safer. But I do like flat safer. bench, but just, there's been times where I get a strain, so I don't do it as much as I used to. Only reason something I shy, shy away from the incline is I feel like my shoulders have a tendency to take over. But yeah, I mean, I guess if I had to pick, I guess incline probably is safer, but I feel like flat bench yes. I maybe get a little bit more out of it. But either way, you can't lose. Do both. Yeah? Do both. <laughs> Next time we'll do both. <laughs> That's what you do when you have no clue what you're doing. You just do everything. Uh, which actually, um, I've come to realize after training with a few different people that I don't know that I really have a whole, like a, there's a, some like great methodology behind my training other than just to pick up some weight and push I, as I many times think, as I can. I just think there's a lot of this new new uh, ways of training like you said and I just think there's nothing has ever worked everything's pretty much the same to me it's never made me any better right, right. I, don't, I don't think so you know right uh, other than doing like drop sets and yeah you know superset or you know, we did you know what I mean like I guess any way you can overload the muscle right is always what it's about is how do you I just think it's a new gimmick for everyone to sell there's a lot of gimmicks yeah. there's definitely a lot of gimmicks but I mean for the most part you know people say you know why did you recreate the wheel yeah you know, why did you do this workout like this why did you do it like that it's like I don't know. I just, you know, worked my way up to a weight that was heavy for me. And I tried to do that weight as many times as I could. Yeah, yeah that's pretty basic. <laughs> you know, and then if I want to throw in something else, I have somebody there to, um, you know, force reps, yeah. drop sets, you know, yeah. supersets, things like that. So yeah. it's just always ways to just kind of beat it up more. Yeah. Um, Same with me. So. Come on. Come on. Seven, one more. Some days, if I'm not strong, I'll just do three plates and then I'll just do like drop down two. 
Maybe I can get drop down to one. Maybe I can get. I like to. I like to do like my last set sometimes. Like today, the way we we started off, you know, with a with a fly type movement, and then we did um, two pressing movements, and then ended off with a fly. How do you typically do? You typically like alternate flies and presses throughout the move throughout the workout, or do you generally say a lot of guys say flies for last? How do you usually do it? Yeah, mostly flies for last, but there's sometimes some days I just feel like I'll do like I usually do a pressing first always. Usually, always first. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I thought that was the rule. <laughs> I know, but some, then some days I'll do I'll do a fly next, and like okay, like some days I'll do incline uh, <laughs> bench, then I'll do flat bench. But days I don't feel like doing flat, I'll do a fly instead, and the next thing I'll do like a like I said, like a machine we did today, where we did a machine uh, press. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll just do that, just get a better squeeze. You typically use a lot of machines. Uh, nah, I, I always do some, not all. Never, never really can't can't do all. I mean, even if something's hard for me to do, I'll still do it. So, but you've had a couple injuries now. Yeah, even doing like anything dumbbells is pretty hard for me, but I try. I think that if I stay away from it too much, it's not gonna make it any better. Right, right. You know what I mean? So I try to do as what the most I can. You know what I mean? Right. With dumbbells or anything that causes not pain, but like that's harder than it used right. to be. Right, right, right. So right. Yeah. after warming up, I'll either go to an incline movement or go to a flat movement. Yeah. Um, today we did uh, barbell, incline barbell. Just to mix it up. Just, just to mix it up. Don't want to do the same thing every single time. Right. You know, as long as there's any real reason, just like one day I want to go heavy on flat, one day I want to go heavy on right. incline. That's how I am. Right. If right. you're the same way. For the most part. You know, so. I mean, sometimes I say, I don't know, I'll do both. Yeah. Go ahead, just go heavy everything. Why not? <laughs> you know. So why would you do two, two barbell pressing movements in the same workout? And it's like, well, I don't know, why not? The only reason I opt a lot of times for no lift off is because, you know, like when someone's giving you that assistance and then all of a sudden you feel the weight, it's like, oh, you well, know, and it's kind of like well, a... Well, the only reason for me, well, I used to be stubborn before. Because okay. I was like, no, I'm strong enough to do it. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, you're like, same thing on over you, I've had people who have done it, you know, they pretty much like lift it out of your hands. You ever had that? Yeah. Like, it's like you're not even really home anymore? Like, yeah, yeah, that's, that's that scary. Happen, so, but I, I would have trusted someone like you, I mean, it's not, like, I wouldn't even think about it, but I'm saying... <laughs> if I had an accident, <laughs> the accident. But I guess but if, if there was nobody there I trusted, I would right. probably not do it. Right. I would right, do something right. else. I I I liken it to like for example a two and a half hour car ride right okay. the, from here. It was hot out today. It's like eighty five plus degrees, and I'll drive the whole way with no AC, only because when I put the AC on and then I get out of the car, I hate that shock. Yeah of the heat hitting me. Yeah. So if I drive the whole way and it's hot, then I don't feel it when I get out. Almost like the same thing with the lift off. I hate when someone lifts it off, and then all of a sudden I feel the weight and I go, Cause oh. you know what? It's the, that's how heavy it is. I'd rather feel it the whole way. Cause it's hard to kinda like it. know, know what I'm, I'm in for. But if you know what, it's harder to pick it up first. When you pick it up first, it's like, oh. But then I find it gets easier. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so it's, I'm cruising. Instead, instead of, you're right, it's smart though. Instead of doing the opposite <laughs> way, it's really easy, then it gets real hard. Yeah, I hate yeah, that. Right, it's good, it's good, I never thought about that. Good. 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 Come on. Up. 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 You know, we, uh, Frank, both and I, after doing incline, settled on uh, like a hammer press movement or some type of machine press. Um, and all there was was a, uh, a plate loaded hammer strength where. You're typically in my gym, we do a plate loaded one. I think that's what, what Frank's accustomed to as well. And um, I definitely prefer that. Though I will say, sometimes it's good being at a gym away from home where you know it doesn't have all your usual equipment because it kind of forces you to do something else. Even if it's a piece where maybe I would look at it and go, uh, you know, it's kind of cheesy. I'm not into that. Um, I've, I've had I've had good workouts even at, you know like say I'm traveling and you know you're you're at a gym and you're like man this is a real fluff this is a real fluff gym. You know, and you use some of the equipment, and you go, wow, I actually got a pretty good workout. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you never know. And so today, uh, today being a prime example, you know, obviously, you know, there's no plate loaded hammer press. So we just, we used the, 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 uh, the stack, the stack one. And um, honestly, it was, it was deceivingly heavy. <laughs> was it 90 pounds we had? 90 pounds. Yeah, with 90 on each side, it was heavy. I mean, I was, I was failing around, I think, 10 or 12. Yeah, yeah. So. It was different. Would I use it every week? No. Would I consider it, you know, bread and butter movement? Definitely not, but. Oh, I could have to oh, Well, you, you know, you're done and you're like, Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Some videos, so we'll see you later. I'll have to review it, yeah.
sick. Hey, come on. Come on. Yep, yep, yep. Come on. Set that we ended with is one that I really like. Uh, dumbbell flies, yeah. super set with uh, dips. I love dips. It was actually my first weight bench. Had uh, the post you could take out, yeah. bring them in narrow, yeah. and do dips off the back of it. So I mean, I used to go to town on those. And still to this day, I consider dips like one of the best upper body movements. And we were just talking about at the end of the end of the workout. Frank goes, "Oh, you, you like push-ups too, right?" And I said, "Yeah." And he said, "You know, people make fun of me for doing them." But push-ups are great movement, you know. Yeah, so like dips, all those body weight movements. I've had are... guys in the gym. I'm doing push-ups, and like, these guys have been around for a long time. Like, what are you doing? You gonna get big doing push-ups? <laughs> Dude, at the end of the workout, doing push-ups. It's, it's like a flat bench. Absolutely, <laughs> and it, it's the perfect feel. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I like it. So I mean, this superset, it's nice. You know, one being a fly movement, the other one being a pressing movement, um, and kind of just finish everything off. It's a, you know. Do you like to do, you like to do weighted dips? If I'm doing them a little earlier on in the movement, I mean in, in the in the those were hard. I don't know about you, but I was getting like the most I got was eight. I was getting ten and under, so weighted it probably wouldn't have worked. But I know I checked over one time to make sure you were getting, you weren't getting too much more than me. Because like, first, first I didn't know, and I was like, is he getting like twenty? I was like, I think I got seven. That's it. I'm like, shit. So yeah, made them a lot harder, but it was good. But sometimes I like, I like to make things harder. Sometimes I don't have the weight. I like that sometimes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's smart. Because there's times I put like. Uh, weight belt on and doing two plates and like, you know, doing two plates dips. Right, you know? it's kind of nail, you know, and it, it's good, but it kind of, you know, nails your elbows and... Yeah. You know, like my, my, I don't that. think my chest knew how heavy that was at all. Yeah, does your chest know the difference? No. Probably not. I don't think so. I'll ask it later. I'll ask it later. <laughs> <laughs>